First up here at 10, the state is planning to seek the death penalty against the plastic surgeon who's accused of murdering a Largo attorney. Tomas Kozowski is charged with murdering Stephen Causey last month. However, his body is still missing. Yeah, Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer live in our newsroom tonight. And Aaron, uh, unusual for the state to be in a position of seeking the death penalty when no body has been found. That's right, Chris. Yeah, the short answer here is, yeah, that is pretty unusual to, to, to have this happen. Uh, typically, prosecutors would rely on evidence from a homicide victim to help prove the suspect's guilt and that the death penalty is warranted. But in this case, the state doesn't believe it, just doesn't believe it has a strong, or just does believe it has a strong case already. And securing a death sentence just got easier in Florida. Largo attorney Stephen Causey has been missing for more than a month. But prosecutors believe they have enough evidence to prove he was brutally murdered by Tomas Kosowski and to convince jurors that Kosowski deserves the death penalty. If they're able to show that it's heinous, atrocious, and cruel in the way that he killed this victim, they can get death. On Friday, the Pinellas State Attorney filed a notice of intent to seek the death penalty in Kosowski's case. Kosowski, a Tarpon Springs plastic surgeon, is charged with first-degree murder after investigators say evidence linked him to Causey's disappearance. According to court documents, that includes video from Causey's law office, blood in the office's restroom and Kosowski's pickup truck, a ballistic vest, and a bag containing brass knuckles, a stun gun, and syringes with a paralyzing agent. All of these things will factor in to the state's argument, not just for guilt, but for death. Tampa attorney Anthony Rickman isn't connected to this case, but is following it closely. He says seeking the death penalty is a rare move for prosecutors when the victim hasn't been found. Rickman believes that's something that can work in a defense attorney's favor. What I anticipate them doing is saying, yeah, well, this is all circumstantial, but the state can't prove how the death actually occurred. Kosowski's attorney, Bjorn Brunvon, says he hasn't yet seen the state's evidence and isn't ready to discuss specifics of the case. As for the death penalty... It's my hope that maybe they will abandon that effort at some point. But earlier this month, state lawmakers revised Florida's death penalty law, now requiring eight jurors instead of a unanimous 12 to secure a death sentence. It's the lowest threshold in the country, and it's a major concern for Kosowski's attorney, who has entered a not guilty plea for his client. The presumption of innocence is incredibly important to avoid, uh, you know, hopefully for innocent people to be convicted and sentenced to prison uh, or sentenced to death row. Yeah, Rickman says to get a death sentence, the state would need to prove to a jury, one, that the murder was premeditated, two, that it was committed in a heinous, atrocious, or cruel manner, or three, that Kosowski stood to gain something from the murder. And Rickman says the state only needs to prove one of those is true to potentially secure a death sentence. Chris? And you know investigators are still searching for any remains or anything else that can make the prosecution's case as strong as possible Absolutely, yeah. against him. All right, Aaron Mesmer, live for us. Thanks, Aaron.